USA Today, France said it now has three cases, the first in Europe. 26 people have died in China. Here in the U.S., 63 people in 22 states are under investigation for possible infection. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey is live at Northwestern Memorial Hospital, where scientists on the front line are trying to find a vaccine. Megan. Right, Erica, the lab here in Streeterville is the lead site for an international team of scientists that are working on the case, and they are working against the clock to stop the spread. The first goal, mapping the structure of the virus. And we grow up leaders and leaders of bacteria. It's a process. We'll put it into 96 different chemical conditions. And they're basically starting from scratch. Every stage takes time and it takes people to do the actual work. Northwestern University's Carla Satchel leads an international team of about 40 scientists that just got the memo to drop what they're doing and work on this. Because it's that important. Because and, and in a lot of ways, that's what we consider our mandate to be at the center. The team and a robot upstairs was hard at work in the lab today. Once the mapping is done, they'll start working on identifying drugs that could disable the virus once a patient has already contracted it. Some of those drugs might already exist. Others might have to be developed. With the ultimate goal being a preventative vaccine, Satchel tells me the timeline is months. But the ramp up time from zero to, to compound is unfortunately in, in the months scale which is still better than it used to be. But this Chicago lab is making a serious dent in the global fight against the spread. Satchel says it will take about two weeks to sequence the DNA and the proteins found in this virus are very similar to the SARS outbreak from the early 2000s. Live at Northwestern, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators. Thank you, Megan. And we've been noticing more and more people wearing masks around the city and at the airport, so we were curious, do they actually help prevent the spread of the virus? A doctor we spoke with says because it's spread by sneezing and coughing, any barrier is beneficial. We have a lot more information on our website, including stuff about the symptoms and who is most at risk. Just head to CBSChicago.com.